So I'm keeping going on the second pack of the second lesson in the revamp data pack. So it says systematic sampling. So these are chosen at regular intervals from the list. So it says if you've got a sample size of 20 out of a population of 100, you choose every fifth person. Now this is important because um, there was an exam paper where in the past you just kind of said, yeah, you choose every fifth person. And you kind of randomly choose your start point and off you go. But the Marxian said that you randomly choose someone for the first, first five. So you have to show that process there of randomly choosing the first from the first bunch of people who can repeat it. Now this, it's kind of not random because if you're choosing every fifth person, the other four people don't have a chance of being chosen. So it says, although random sampling is used to select starting point, the sample is not random. So, so out of the five people, four can possibly chosen. So once you've chosen that start point, four of them have got no chance of being chosen. And then when you jump in over five, four of them have got no chance of being chosen. So that's where it all goes wrong here. Uh, so we've got a, quite a lot of questions to do. So 180 students, only 30 places available. So um, right then, so I'm going to do 180 divided by 30 is 6. So I know it's going to be every sixth student. I know that in my head. So that's there. So I guess what I really want to do is get the list of the 180 students and assign them a unique number. I guess you should say the integers as well, shouldn't it really? Uh, so we get a list of 80, 180 students assigned with the number, then I'm going to randomly select the start point, start person from the first six. And then after that, I'm going to choose every sixth student to dot the photo. Thirty students. So B so it's not random. Once you select every sixth person, the other five people have no chance Oops. of being selected there. There we go. Right, so then it talks about the other three. So it talks about opportunity sampling. So we've got a sample of members from the population you have access to until you have the desired size. So it says here, most often used in market research, where an interviewer may ask people in a town centre, the population is infinite, and not all people would have an equal chance of being selected. So it's not, so not random. So that's kind of like just asking anybody, really. First people you bump into, ask them and just keep asking people around you. Quota sampling says an interviewer is given a quota of types of people to interview. So bold 50-year-old men, like me. 
the size of the quota are in proportion to the relevant subquota. So you've got to know the proportions. The sample members are usually selected to use an opportunity sample. So like, once again, it looks like the market researching, but you'll get some people stand there and they'll just ignore you as you walk past. And then you might walk around the corner and somebody might grab you because that person's looking for a specific criteria and then somebody else is looking for a different specific criteria. So they'll look for specific people and they keep on going until they've got the sample size that they need. Or they've been punched in the nose, whichever one comes first. So it says population is infinite. Not all people have an equal chance, so it's not random. Then you've got cluster sampling. So population is split into smaller groups called clusters. One or more clusters is chosen at random. The sample is either everyone in the chosen cluster or a selection of people or items from the chosen clusters. Once again, the population is infinite and not all people, all the subgroups will have an equal chance of being selected. So, I hope that's okay. Right, so there's some questions on the next page. You have to decide which one is which. Uh, let's go, uh, so we've got use the postcodes to divide the country into regions, pick 10 random postcodes, and survey all the hospitals in those regions. So that's cluster. Uh, so cluster says the population is split into smaller groups called clusters. One or more of the clusters, and I'm going to have one or more of the clusters is chosen, um, so it's cluster. So then group business is according to type, medical, retail, restaurant, hotel, uh, and select businesses from each type in proportion to their overall number by finding them listed. So that's going to be quota because it talks about putting in proportion, which it mentions on quota if you look, we underlined that back in proportion. C says, instruct a hospital to randomly select a patient and then survey every 100. So that's going to be systematic. If all over 99, you don't stand a chance. <clears throat> Interview the first 30 students who went to college in the morning, in the morning because that's opportunistic. Assign each car in a dealership a number and then use a random number table to select the car, so that's pretty simple, random. So I've done five, so I guess the only one we missed out is stratified. So I'll find out the numbers of students in each year group, use a random number to choose the same proportion. Yeah, so that's just stratified, isn't it? I'm never ever 100% certain about cluster and quota. They're kind of like, they, they get me. Um, right, let's have a look at uh, question two then. This question two is quite involved, isn't it? So we're on eight and a half minutes, so I might stop there and do a third video for question two and question three.